this is Larry the Barberman. I'm at Pirate Shop in Bromley with none other than Harry Pirate himself. <laughs> We're about to do an interview, but before we do an interview, I thought Harry would be the most qualified person to give us a talk on the difference between a beveled blade and a surgical blade. Yeah. And the reason I want to do this chat is because I get an alarming number of barbers complaining that the surgical blade is pulling their client. Now, if a surgical blade is used in the same way that you try to use a bevel blade, which typically comes on a uh, wall super taper or a masters where we're gonna do the comparison, if you try to use it in the same fashion, it will pull your clients, it will cut your clients, and you will have your client feel like their hair lip follicle is being pulled. So Harry's with me today to basically show you the beveled blade and the surgical blade and tell you the difference and how to use the two different blades. We were talking about this earlier, Larry. A lot of people do get confused with these blades. You've got obviously your beveled blade, which is your standard fade blade, on your Andy's Masters, and this will come, as Larry just said, with your normal clippers, English clippers, a lot of wall stuff, and also uh, most Andy stuff as well. Whereas the Fade Masters come with a surgical blade. Now the surgical blade is a lot flatter. Uh, I don't know if you can see there, but I have done a review on these on my channel. This is a lot flatter. Now, it doesn't have a rounded safety edge like this. A, this has a second angle here, so you can come off the head and flick. This is your standard clipper blade, whereas this one, I use it, I was saying to Larry, purely for like afro hair, very tight to the skin sort of cuts, uh, really close skin fades, that sort of thing. And you must keep this dead flat on the skin. There is no going in like this, there is no flicking. There is literally resting on the head and up and down very gently, that is it. Honestly, if you try and use this, like you use a beveled blade, you are in trouble and your client is gonna get cut they're going to look like Freddy Krueger's had a right go at them when they walk out your shop and they won't come back. It's just simple as that. Like we've, I've never cut anyone, but we've had people come to the shop recently in the last couple of weeks. They're cut up and they're like, oh, can you fix my haircut? Look what they've done, isn't it? And it's, 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 it's unexcusable. If you're a barber and you care about your clients, learn about your tools. Don't just go and buy these because you think, oh, Fade Masters, I'm going to be able to do a wicked fade. Like, just make sure you know your tools, you're educated, and you've studied and, and read up and researched because so many people, like Larry was saying, you'll go and buy these Fade Masters and you'll think, I mean, you can put guards on these, you can, you can do a Fade, but it's hard work and they will chew your guards up eventually. Just go and get a Masters, like, you can even just buy the blade and put that on the Fade Masters. But yeah, that is more or less the difference. This one, you can flick out, use for all sorts of hair. The Fade Master blade or a surgical blade or also on the, um, the wall seniors, that has a very sharp blade on them as well. It's not quite as sharp as this, but I believe that is more or less a surgical blade on there too. Am I correct in that? I think so. Oh, it's, um, it's, a, it's a combination. Of it's a combination, but it's thinner than this. It is a bit thinner than that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just be very careful. Be mindful. If you're getting fade masters, these are literally just for skin fades, mainly for Afro hair. That is my personal opinion and my what I use them personally for. Whereas this is an all round workhorse standard fade blade. And that, Larry, is the basic difference between these two blades. Surgical and a beveled blade. Surgical and a bevel, bevel blade, yeah. So what, when do you actually use the surgical blade in your experience? When would you only use the surgical so blade? So I, I have used these for balding out before. It's not ideal because you can cut people. Uh, I, I like to use my balding clippers, my wall balding clippers, and then I use my trimmers to, to get it tight. Um, and then I will use the surgical blade to take out that original line. So my first guideline I put in, I will use the surgical blade to flick that out into the no guard closed on the, on the standard beveled blade on the master. I will then use this to go from trimmer into this because this open is the same as this closed, okay? okay. So it's, it's more or less the same length. So this blends open perfectly into this. And then if you do want to go lower and you want to flick out little shadows that you've created with your borders or your trimmers, then you can close this up and you can go a bit closer. But like I said, my advice personally for new barbers starting out and for other barbers like or hairdressers getting into more barbering, just stick these uh, stick to these for skin fades, like really close to the head stuff. 
Do not use these for beard shaping. Do not try and take people's stubble off with these. Do not use these for th very thick hair. It will pull and snag and you end up just cutting people. Just be very careful. Uh, you can feel how sharp these are anyway. We were saying earlier, weren't we? It's not just this bottom blade. It's the actual top blade as well, the static blade. This is also very, very sharp. So if you're digging into people's head or you know, not using them correctly, you are going to hurt people and you're going to cause all sorts of blood baths. We don't want none of that. So just stick to the bevel blade if you're not sure. And if you're an expert like me, then use this one. Yeah, and I was, remember I was told you on the way down, I was surmising while I was driving yeah. that that as a clipper, the fade master with the surgical blade, yeah. as a rule of thumb, if you use it in the same fashion you would a hair trimmer. A trimmer, exactly. You couldn't go far wrong. You're right. Because you you're wouldn't right. go in, yeah. you wouldn't stab in no, with you the, the uh, hair trimmer, you'd go flat on the client's scalp. And if you use that in the same way, you won't have a problem. I agree. Uh, that, is, that is a perfect little tip, um, what you just said, actually. If you use these as a, as a trimmer, you, you shouldn't be cutting people because, like you said, you're not going to go in and start digging people with a trimmer because they're sharp, right? And, I mean, don't forget as well, these, um, these surgical blades, like, you don't have to have these zero gapped. A lot of people I know, they've got fade masters, they've zero gapped them, and they're literally just scalping people. Like, there is no need to zero gap these. How these come out the box, closed, are way close enough to use. Like, the blade's so thin. This is on par with a balding clipper. Like, I've... I've, I've tested but it. But you've got control because But of the you've leader. got control, yeah. But the only thing is, this, this will cut more than a balding clipper just because how sharp that static blade is. It's got no uh, rounded safety edge. It's, it's a flat blade, hence why it's called a surgical blade. It's like a scalpel. Um, whereas this one, if you feel it, it's got a rounded safety edge. But yeah, just be very careful with them. And if you do, you do some sick haircuts. <laughs> Harry Pirate, thank you for uh, clearing now the put difference away. between the two. Yeah, thank you very much. Right, we're going to go into our interview now. Let's go. Hope you found that helpful, guys. Nice.